Malcolm Walker, thank you very much for doing this interview. Now, just imagine waking up in a week's time from now, Friday morning, and Scotland has voted yes. As a businessman, what would your response be? Panic. Panic? Did you just say panic? Panic. Why? Yeah. Well, it's, it, to be honest, I, I know this is um, massively important to uh, Scottish people, but, you know, I suppose down here we've not really taken it very seriously. Uh, I don't think many people have considered for one minute that there'd be a yes vote. But all of a sudden now, that's looking as if it could be likely. And I mean, the consequences, um, I don't know. We're just going to have to decide what to do because there will be a big impact. Uh, I mean, we're a, a national company. Our head office here is in Wales. Uh, we've got stores in Wales, England, Northern Ireland and Scotland. We've got 71 stores in Scotland and we employ 2,000 people there. And we've also got a distribution depot in Livingston. Would you like to have the Prime Minister be, have been more prepared about this whole issue and the possibilities well, of a uh, yes vote in the past as opposed to just in the last seven days? I don't know. I, 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 I don't know how to answer that. I, I don't think anybody really seriously believed it would happen. Um, actually, I still don't. Even though I think recent polls are indicating it's within a whisker and it might happen, I don't think it will. Common sense will prevail. You know, we are Great Britain. It's England, Scotland, Wales, Northern Ireland. Um, you know, why, why would we want to break up and go off in separate ways and become two smaller countries instead of one larger country? We'll lose, we'll lose influence. The consequences will be just massive. So it won't happen. Now, Jim Sillers, the former deputy head of the SNP, has said those, for those businesses, like yourselves, presumably, who are speaking out against a yes vote um, and putting themselves on the record, their quote may be a day of reckoning. What's your reaction to that? Bollocks. Is that blackmail or the threat or what? I mean, uh, come on. We're speaking out common sense. I mean, that is a stupid thing to say. Day of reckoning. What's it, go what's it going to do? Close us down? And if it's a yes vote for Scotland, um, and Scotland becomes independent, what would you tell your thousands of employees in Scotland? Well, business as usual, that's all. Um, and if uh, Alex Salmons uh, Im improves uh, broadband and mends the potholes in the road, maybe I'll vote for him myself, if I could. Malcolm Walker, thanks very much. Thank you.